Ido Balogu was the eldest prince, but due to his health, he allowed his younger brother to ascend to the throne. And this later caused a twist in the politics of the ascension of the royal throne. While other accounts recognized Ajibon as the first king, oral information further indicated that they were headed by three personalities Ajibon, Ayoka, and Asheogun who settled at Idomila, but Asheoku later moved to go and settle at Idomija to enable him to devote more attention to the worship of the Odudua deity. Ajibo and Ayoka chose political leadership, while Asheoku accepted to be the crowning authority. Ayoka had no child, so after the death of Ajibo, the leadership mantle automatically fell on the descendants of Ajibo. They were Ido, Balogun, and Oduton. But before I proceed, once upon a time, Ayoka became very annoyed when the Den Olo made an uncomplimentary remark about the Den of Oniba, and the circumstances made him enter the ground with part of his dog chain hanging out to this day. Anyways, it happens that Ayoka had no child, making it automatically falling on the children of Ajiboye. They, they were Ido Balogu and Oduton. Ido Balogu was the eldest, but due to his health, he allowed his younger brother to ascend to the throne. That chapter later opened a new dispensation in the history of Oba ship in Iba land. Until the emergence of Oba Adesino Sulaiman Raji, Okikiola Ashade the first. They all claim descent from a common ancestors. After the establishment of Isheri by Olofi Ogufumire, they believe that their inherited mitochondrial cells have a theoretical common ancestors. Olofi himself was believed to have led an expedition to establish a new settlement far away from Ileife which gave birth to many heroes who left with him. They left Ilefe and stopped at Atonta, then later to another temporary sojourn at Igbesa in Idoluba, from there to Odo Abuja. The group consultation with Ifa directed them to Obadore. Ifa still then instructed them to cross the Yua River to go and Juba, that is to pay obeisance to Ifa. Ifa then instructed them to settle at the place they came to Juba, which is the name of the kingdom that was shortened over time to the word Iba. Iba came from the word Juba. He's a prince with three royal ties to three royal families. Reason why he's been called Omoba Meta. He has ancestral links to Iba and Igbesa royal stools. He has two ancestral links through his paternal grandmother and another one through his maternal grandfather. His father is also from a royal family, that of Ido Balogu. He has one turned out offer to be a king in Igbesa and allowed his cousin to take up the throne. He's popularly known as Jafo. Or Jafo authority. However, that word Jafo is in a short form of Jaforie, which literally means fight for your head or your life. The death of his mother was a turning point for his educational career. Iba is also imagined as one of the most dynamic housing metropolis in Lagos. Most Iba people consider his reign as a gift from God. He's a businessman who sits on a chain of business with interest majorly in transportation. Is a well diverse and quite cosmopolitan. Omo Bameta has also upheld the cultural practices in Iba Kingdom, such as the Odudua Festival, Egugu, Eyigba Festival, Ogu, as well as Ayoka Festival. Oba Oniba functions as one part as a king and another one as a father to all living and non living things. I haven't seen a single Iba indigene who has denied the giant strides of the current Oba. He's a philanthropist and has helped Iba add a breathtaking transformation during his reign. is well known on social media as well. It is important for you to know that the word Iba came from the word Juba. That was when Ifa instructed them to pay obeisance after the Yewa River, which they stayed permanently. He's the first king from the descendants of Ido Balogu. That was the first prince who allowed his younger brother to ascend to the throne due to his health.